السلام عليكم ورحمة الله رفا فاطمة جسيرة is it نو one minute I will just show stop sharing and we'll see okay okay رفا رحمان شبانا شورا yes نشوت أشرف نشوت أشرف okay ريشما thank you so much for joining and you all are you all are in time so let me just start the session so i'm sure you might have joined the previous session as well right how many of you are here please don't send me a direct message you can be transparent to all let us have open discussion open to everybody okay so put on your cameras with your hijab on with your niqab on anything that matters no problem anything for you but your camera should be on if you want your certificates to be there okay so yes how many of you are joining for the first time that jazakallah reshma okay reshma is joining for the first time okay mashallah who else rifa rahman i'm sure you, i think you have joined last time as well okay nashwat Jasira, Shabana, come on. Open your cameras. Jazakallah, Reshma. So nice. Can you tell me? Okay, Jasmine, for the just. Oh, what is this? Fatima, Jasmine. Okay. Fatima, Jasmine. Is it Jasmine? Okay. Fatima, Jasmine. Okay. You're yeah, for the first time. Okay. Where are you from? Can you tell me where are you from? Reshma, Ashura is from Mangalore. Reshma, can you tell me where are you from? You're on mute. Yes. Unmute yourself and just tell me where are you from. Assalamu alaikum. Where are I'm you from? Karkala, ma'am. Karkala. Reshma, AR from Karkala. Right. Yes, ma'am. Okay. What about you, Reshma? You are Mangalore itself, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay, good. Ashura is also from Mangalore. Yes, okay. Nashwat, Shabana, where are you from? I want everybody to put your, in your chat, uh, where are you from? And if you're coming for the first time, write FT in the comment section, please. FT. FT, first time. Okay, great. Sanam is also for the first time, I guess. Yes, Rifa Rahman. Jasira from Suratkal. Fatima Jasmi. Jasmi from Kasargod. Great. Great. Interstate. I hope you're able to understand then. Okay. Yes, mashallah. Uh, and what age group are you teaching? All our teachers here? I'm, I, I feel all our yes, teachers... All professionals, yes, mashallah. I'm talking to intellectuals here. Says mashallah, that's good. that's wonderful. Okay, Nashwal from the court, great. So just tell me which age group are you teaching? Jasira, one to five. Okay. What about Sanam? Okay, degree. All degree students, graduation. Great. Kulyat of what? Okay. Which age group? Which age group are you teaching? Children of which age group? AG section. Okay. May I know your uh, why? What what made you join this particular program? What is the intention? What <laughs> is that that gave a call for you? You have to join here. Anybody post you? <laughs> <laughs> One to seven. Online madrasa. Great. We are revolving. Madrasas are getting online. Mashallah. Very nice. Six to eight. Okay. Group of age group of six to eight. Mashallah. So let us proceed. Now we have to. We have to get something about personality here. Okay. So I just want to ask. Have you all observed any any person who is identical in nature? 
I mean, if you believe that we all are unique and different. Anybody has yes. seen her who is identical? Anyone? No. We are all, we are not identical. Yes, we know that in one way or the other, we are different. In one way or the other, we totally differ from one another. Like sometimes it may be our own now. Uh, maybe the likes or the dislikes may be, or sometimes we may look identical, but our our passion, our hobbies, the way we communicate, our friends, our lifestyle is totally different. Our thought process is different, right? How many of you believe that, yes, this is there? Some kind of changes we have. Although even we have identical, uh, you know, twins also is not similar to each other, right? Yes, Yes, in one way or the other, we are different. Yes. So that's what we have to talk about. Like why we are different and what are the aspects that make us different. And, you know, you might have seen some people who are very rigid. You say that, okay, this is my way and it for that. Whatever has happened, it should happen like this only the way I say. Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. yes. Sometimes it happens. I get uh, for the counseling sessions, you know, I get some uh, spouse coming together and telling me that my husband is like this only now all the time. Whatever happens, it should be the way he speaks. I mean, the moment he tells something, it should happen right there. If it doesn't happen, if it delays, then he gets wild. We all seen such people. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So this is happening because most of us, most of us are not aware of how to deal with these kind of people. So there are, in, in the classroom also, have you all observed, some children want, uh, for example, if they want any kind of a story or a material or anything that the, that uh, teachers want to give them, it's like some of them want it then and there itself. No, ma'am, I want this yellow color only. Yellow color, this is mine. And he doesn't allow anybody to touch that. Yes or no? Yes, yeah. it happens. And there are again few a set of group. I mean, a set of tears to where they just they just be very calm and say, "Ma'am, it's okay, ma'am. Any time, anything happens, it's okay, ma'am. I can adjust. No problem. No, it's okay, ma'am. Let her do it. I will not. Yeah. Have you all seen such people getting adjusted, yes. custom? Most of the time, it happens, right? Why some are saying they can't join? Okay, uh, some in the group, they want the link again. I'll be just, just a moment. Let me. Follow. I don't know why this person is not able to join. Yeah. So this is what is happening. So Ashura, can you make one favor for me? Like in case you find anybody joining in this group, can you? Send them the link. I think some of them have joined later. Okay. No problem. Right now it's fine. Okay. So this is what is happening. Like most of us, we are not aware of these kinds of personalities and why they differ from each other. And we try to, we try to be, you know, equal to everybody. I mean, we treat everybody equally, not fairly. Right? We try to be very lenient sometimes and we say, okay, it's all right, no problem, right? We have that kind of sensation. We, we try to be, you know, we don't even understand what exactly we have to deal with, how to deal with these kinds of people. So there are four different personalities and four different ways to deal with them. Okay, let us learn about these things. I'm sure once you learn about this, you will be able to analyze what your students are how to deal with them, and you can have a better approach. How many of you are excited? How many of you feel that, yes, I, as a teacher, should know this? Yes. So only two will be getting the certificates? Only two? Out of 16? So what is the condition? What is the condition? <laughs> if you're, only if your cameras are on, you are eligible. Yes, yes, Vashara. Otherwise, you will not. So that's wonderful, wonderful to see everybody. Okay, so let me just share the screen. Let me take you through what is this personality all about. Okay, so we're going to learn something about personality profiling today. Like understanding individual's traits. 
for example, you know, what kind of a person he is, how he thinks, what are his what are, are what are his views, his thought process, how he behaves, everything. No, it's it's not just about can any can anybody tell me what is personality? If I talk about personality, what is it like? What do you mean by personality? Anybody? Anybody here can tell me what personality is all about? What is personality? Yes. What's your name? I, can, I, I don't know how to pronounce your name. Gauss? Vikar? You're on mute, sir. You're on mute. Kindly unmute and then speak. Yes. You want me to help? One minute. Ask to unmute. I'm asking you to unmute. Can you do this? Click there. I've requested you. Okay, of different behavior is supposed to be, you feel different behavior is different personality, okay? Ghost, can you, uh, sir, can you, can you unmute and tell me? I'm asking you to unmute. You have a small mic button there in the yes, left hand corner. Yes, uh, Yeah, yeah. It's not like Ma'am, personality means uh, you have to be behave like a good person. Uh, uh, like when we have to be talk uh, in a society, uh, you have to be talk with in a society like uh, behavior with uh, how they have to be talking with uh, each other persons. Okay, uh, different. Uh, how to how to mingle with people? How to socialize with people? How to talk in the society? How you behave? Everything that matters. Yes. Of course, oh. it's it's a part of personality. Mashallah, great. Can I know your name, please? Uh, Ghost Vikar, ma'am. Ghost Vikar, okay. Okay, new name, Mashallah. Great, so you can mute yourself. Yes, now tell me, what else you have? Different behaviors you have, different personality means different behavior, what you think, what you, what you behave with people. Yes, so it's all about the different traits. I mean, it's not just about the way we behave. Now, for example, I may be behaving in a way very artificial at times when I meet people like you. I may not be the same at home. I may not be the same in the shop. I may not be the same when I bargain. Right? How many of you agree with this? How many of you feel that we, we make up sometimes? There are so many cases that I get where parents are telling that, ma'am, at home he is actually fine, ma'am. I don't know what happens in the school. And sometimes I get mm -hmm. complaints from the school saying that in the school, he is totally quiet, very quiet child. At home, he is not totally rebellious. Observe such kind of traits. Anybody? We have. So it is easy for us also to make up. Sometimes I get the, when, when I get couples for the counseling, I, I see that, husband will be totally different in the society when he is in the office, when he is with the boss, when he is with his friends. But at the same time, when it comes to their own family, totally different. Yes, it happens. Now, we have to understand that making up is easy for us. So personality is not about what is shown outside. Okay, personality is what is within us. You can't make up for a long time. What did Prophet say? Wasallam, he said, if you want to know a person, you should either go and have at least, you know, you, you should have a business done. You should stay for, for four days, five days. You go on a journey together. You know, you will be able to understand a person very well because your makeup will, will not stay for a long time. Got it? So that's how. You got it? This is how. Yes, it's not just the hidden behavior. It's like everything that consist, constitutes the person's thoughts, the behaviors, how he feels, what he thinks, and all that process that goes on. Okay, so it's a personality trait. It's a set of traits. It's not just about one thing. It's, it's all about the set of traits. Okay, it's about the set of traits. So before we proceed, is it okay if I can talk about myself a bit? Is it okay? Can you permit me? To talk okay 
So Alhamdulillah, I was a lecturer for more than a decade in Mangalore. And uh, basically, I'm from Mangalore, born, brought up, married also here only. And since then, I've been into teaching field and also uh, almost for four years, I've been um, even working as a principal in one of the colleges in Mangalore. And uh, Ashura, she is one of my students here. Okay. So this is, uh, you know, when I wanted some changes to be done, usually the thing that was bothering me as a teacher was I had, I used to attend almost all the workshops. But then one of the workshops, you know, in, in that workshop, uh, the person told me that if a student fails, it means the teacher failed. That was bothering me a lot. That that particular statement, I I it, it hit me like anything that I was wondering why that four or five students used to fail in my subject. That means I'm a failure as a teacher. I'm not fit to be a teacher. Somewhere, I was forced to become a teacher. That's another story. I never wanted to become a teacher. And then, uh, you know, that was not my profession. Maybe that's not a cup of tea that I wanted. I was always having some some broader, I was looking for some broader, um, you know, the crowd. And Alhamdulillah, I'm in for it right now. Okay. So after that, I began my journey as a coach. I started learning more about mind, about programming, about, um, uh, you know, how, how things alter when we think different in our minds and how it, how it helps our, you know, empowers us and so many things and once I learned all that I started to coach my own colleagues initially to make them aware that where did I falter this is my mistake I don't want you to do this at least when I'm not there so I had to stop my career in, in between because uh, my parents needed me more and that was a time where my dad had medical emergencies and twice he was uh, in in an emergency, I was not able to, um, you know, con you know, continue my career as a lecturer or as a principal. And then, thereafter, it was a shift. I can say, by God's grace, the the platform was the platform that Allah has given me was much more easier for me to come up and you know, <laughs> uh, you know, serve this particular society in a different way. And that's where I realized, rather than taking up initiative for teachers, I will be going to cater to the parents at a larger crowd because their parents genuinely need the support. And that's where I started my parenting journey and I became a certified coach, certified parenting coach, certified neuro-linguistic programming NLP coach. And also I have done EFT, CBT as a practitioner. I've been doing this for a long time, Alhamdulillah. And now we are a team. Okay, I am. I belong to an organization, and we are in a team right now with thousand nine hundred and twelve members. Alhamdulillah, and we serve as you know parenting coaches. And I also am a career counselor. I have been uh, like a career counseling, career strategist. I've been taking initiatives there also. And what are the new age careers for especially uh, ladies, or you know, in what ways you can you can uh, recruit you know in the uh, new age, uh, you know, careers which are specifically meant for those who don't want to go outside and earn. So in that, in that way, also we help people. So that's how we do. And we also have also met almost 11 lakhs parents in eight years. My whole organization, we all are together and we have uh, trained almost 11 lakhs parents. And we are in a mission to have 50 lakhs this year, inshallah. So I want most of them to get connected so that, you know, our, right now we also have uh, partner schools also. We will be talking about that, inshallah, if you are really interested to talk to is this about, uh, talk to me about this. We can talk about that, how to become the partner schools in our career programs and other things. So inshallah, we can, we can have some collaborations and go forward so that we can help and reach out to more people. That's the main concern that I have, inshallah. Yesterday, I was talking to somebody and she asked me, ma'am, what is your intention? Why, what is your motive of doing this free things so i was like okay so free things is not about just to make people you know just give them for free it's we have some intentions here as well my intention is once i teach i take up counseling sessions okay so if, if i take counseling sessions for one one child also i may charge 1200 per session 1500 to 1200 varies so i charge around that for one session 
rather than charging all these things what if i charge what if i what if i train one teacher and one parent that's what my intention is so they can empower their own children and their own family and that's how the society will grow so that is my intention so that you know more and more things you you just go on with all these things i can serve people in a better way so can i i can i can connect with people so ashura also knows me that we all are connected with people in and around us and we've been serving people in one way or the other whatever is possible from my end i've been doing that from from uh from these many years alhamdulillah so this is a short thing uh, no it's a short message that i want to give people also try to give it to people we will be able to achieve some things so coming forward now let us talk about personalities now we all know that we all have human we are we are all human intellectuals right i don't call ourselves to be social animals we are all social intellectuals that's what i believe because almighty has created us in a different form each one of us as we have mentioned in our last session also about multiple intelligence so how differently we are created and we all have different personalities and to make sure that these you know out of now we have we are 29 of us 28 29 of us and we all 29 of us have different personalities how many of you agree with us each one of us have different personalities yes or no yes we all have different personalities now this is what we all have to understand now how how do you categorize it it's very difficult so you say there are 30 different personalities means we have to learn about all these 30 personalities now there are 800 lakhs people so 800 different 800 lakhs personalities i have to study no now these are all categorized we will be talking about this okay so different we are all different we are all unique in one ways or the other in in some in some uh, i would say we are blending with each other you know uh, my some characteristics of mine will be equal or will be similar to another's or to somebody else okay and different different personalities we have and different traits and these traits maybe i have some traits i may not have some other traits whereas my friend has got some other traits and she may not be having the same trait as me right but there are some commonalities as well so differences in commonalities are there in one ways or the other but all of them are not the same and all of them are not different okay we are not completely different nor are we completely similar in one ways or the other we can find in some similarity so personality is the set of traits together what we think what we feel what we act everything okay everything for example now whatever i am thinking here i may not be acting the same i may i may tell you something different what i feel i may be hiding it i may not tell the same thing to you right yes or no do you feel that now i may be feeling that okay how rude she is okay now imagine i'm talking to a person i feel she so rude yeah? she shouldn't speak in that way but then i act and say yes mashallah yes what you're doing is right ma'am okay this is called makeup okay that's not the personality but after you be there for four days with her you will try to understand and you you, you know that this is, okay she is too rude and then you quite you you feel like uh, you know expressing and for quite some time you will be artificially behaving and then you you feel you feel that okay this is something wrong i have to yes mahanas it is our artificial behavior we make us we sh we try to show up our another trait sometimes we we tr we try to not make it very genuine okay so this is what we do usually with our neighbors with our friends with our with somebody who is you know uh, who is a stranger we say hello ma'am yes ma'am yes yes when our kids speak yes tell me ha huh. we have seen the difference when the kids talk over the phone how do we do yeah. Ah, yeah tell me what is it what do you want to talk yeah okay fine okay ah fine but the moment you have a stranger over the phone yes ma'am yeah okay ma'am no problem this is the way we do yeah okay so this is our makeup okay so totally if you think if you if you take all these traits thinking feeling acting everything this constitutes to have a 
personality so each one of us differ and and this you can't say which one is better now now all the four personalities okay now tell us which is better which is the best i will be that no you can't be anything because you are already in that behavior you can't change the behavior you can't change your personality because almighty has created us in that way try to understand this it's very important for you for all of us to understand that we cannot change our personalities like this we cannot alter until and unless there is some kind of a um, you know an accident that takes place for example you might have seen people who are very talkative talking too much and all of a sudden there was one particular incident that shook the entire life and then she stopped talking or he stopped talking. Does that happen? Have you all seen such people? Yes. Yes. So this is, this is some alteration that is done in the personality. It may be sometimes temporary or it could be a permanent change also, a shift that has brought due to some trauma or accident or anything for that matter okay or sometimes it may be the hidden potential which you didn't even know about it for example now imagine i i was fearing public okay i didn't i didn't know that i am good at public speaking and i go there i i uh, people used to tell me that people like you cannot go and speak in front of people you are so shy you will not be able to do anything but the moment you go there you present well and it was far better than others comparatively that instant also can bring a positive shift in you and you start talking you start having public speaking skills you have you you understand that i have that skill and i can do it yes or no do you agree it happens now this is personality like you know you 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 didn't know that you have that hidden potential and then you start you start initiating certain things and then you begin that journey. For example, if I have to talk about me, I was I was also a shy person. I used to never sit in front of people. Even when my mother-in-law came to see me uh, for the proposal also, I just saw and saw that somebody, some stranger is there and I went into another room and I sat there with my sister and slept off. I didn't even see who that person is because I mean she didn't she didn't come as as uh, you know formally uh, to invite or to have that proposal or something. No, not me. Okay, so this is uh, when I when she just came to visit my house and that's how the talk began, and then I was the person who used to sit in sit in some, some other room whenever guests come. I used to never go and talk to them. But it so happened that when I was in my PU level, I got a chance to talk behind the screen. Okay, I got a chance to talk behind the screen. That is, this participant be ready. Meanwhile, we have these, these, these things. Okay, so these were some of the things that I got a chance. And there I came to know, people started giving compliments saying that, Oh, you are very good in anchoring. So I didn't know that I was good at anchoring and all that things. I never thought of it earlier. Going to the stage was something like a nightmare. And behind the stage, I, I performed far better. I, I did, I performed far better. And that's how I realized that something is there in me and I can do that. Slowly and gradually, I started taking small, small tasks, maybe the keynote address and then, you know, the welcome speech and then so on and so on. And then, you know, by the end, when I when I came to my lecturing post and then even the principal post, I was able to handle all that things pretty well. So that's how we have. Ma'am, it didn't feel comfortable to keep video on. When? Okay, but... You can wear your niqab also and come. No problem. That's what I said. You can wear your niqab, anything, and you can come here. Okay? Whatever you feel comfortable. When you go outside, what you do, the same thing. You can do it here as well. That's what I appreciate. Okay. So, these things, I think you can understand. So, we all are different. We are all equal. Now, what happened is in late 90, 1920s, you know, 
uh, there was a theory. People started thinking about, understanding about the, uh, the personality. So just a small history, I want to tell you how it happened. Okay. So William Walden uh, tried to bring this particular concept called personality theory. Okay. He wrote a book, Emotions of Normal People. How many of you have read this book? I have the soft copy in case you need it. You can get that as well. I can give you the soft copy. You, you, but you need to take a printout because it's an old copy. Okay. No copyright issue. Just a moment. So he started analyzing behaviors, different, different behaviors. And he could categorize almost 800 people, how to, how he was categorizing all these things. And then he, he divided all of that and divided into four patterns. You know, he, he tried to analyze it and study it, and he brought this disc personality theory. Okay. Disc means it's nothing but the alphabets, the four alphabets, which is representing four different personalities, like dominant, D for dominant, I for influential, S for steady, and C for compliant. Okay, so these four things, D for dominant, I for influential, S for steady, and C for compliant. Okay, so these four personalities he started to analyze and he categorized all these into four categories. Okay, he categorized it. He divided into these four categories and then he, he said there are again some mixtures or I would say the blending of two, two or three, um, you know, the personality. So that's where we are differing, differ from each other. So what is all this? Now, after he wrote, these this book there were others also who came up with different these kinds of same kind of um uh, you know theory and multiple times different in different ways this theory was exhibited another person called gary cotter he was a person dr gary cotter wrote the same theory to make people understand in a different format the same theory now in this there is eagle there is peacock there is owl and a pigeon. Now, if you can come to come and tell me which one amongst these bird, bird, which, which bird represents dominance amongst these four? Which do you think? Which one do you think is the eagle. dominant eagle, peacock, owl eagle. or? Yes, eagle. it is eagle. Eagle, eagle. Yeah. So, he came up with a dope theory considering that, okay, D for dominance and dominant is nothing but like an owl. I mean, sorry, like an eagle. So eagle will be easily represented. We all know what are the traits of an eagle, right? We all know about it. How eagle came into being and what, what in what ways we are able to. I think somebody has joined the group. Let me just give, give them the link. One minute. Yes. Okay. So this is what you have. So dominant means here it's eagle. So you are able to identify now. You are able to understand eagle dominant creature. Now amongst this, which one do you think is steady personality? Steady. Who's very um, calm. Who's very calm, quiet. Yes, pigeon. dove personality. Pigeon. It's not owl. Dove, dove, dove. Pigeon, pigeon, pigeon. Dove. Dove, dove personality. Yes, it is dove personality who is calm and quiet. Almost trying to get adjusted anywhere you want. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes, ma'am. How the basava how the Allah basavala in that way. Okay. And then which one do you think is influential here?
anybody who feels influential personality one who tries to yes it is peacock it is peacock, peacock. trying to influence people trying to show off i'm beautiful i'm pretty you see me look at me i'm doing this can you see this that's how and there is somebody called owl who is very compliant who doesn't talk much but sticks to the rules four process means it is four process only you have to add one pinch of salt means one pinch of salt only right there are people in that way four steps to be followed so they'll they'll follow four steps only have you all seen such children go in a line ma'am she is not going in the line seen such children we complain they say yes this is a difference yes that is a difference that you have you have to understand got it this is how so try to make now again there is another theory the same kind of theory was again wrote in a different format for corporates this is exclusively for corporates this is best theory best again means those who are bold enough those who are expressive those who are sympathetic and those who are technical in this can you can you represent which one is bold bold stands for the same theory they have wrote, they have written it in a different format i mean different style bold is nothing but dominant bold action taker right Yes. yes. Expressive. Influential. Yes, Impressive. absolutely right. What about sympathetic? Uh, that. Steady. Steady but personality. Uh, steady. Absolutely right. Yes, correct. What about technical? Compliant. Compliant. Yes, that's wonderful. So nothing. This you don't have to do about all. You don't. You don't have to study about all these things. Okay, I I just brought it to your notice that these things are all same. So we will be talking about four P's of personalities today. Okay, what are these four P's? We will be talking about this. So again, what are the traits? Now, how do you understand what kind of person he is, and how do you deal with this? This we have to understand, right? Now we know four types of personalities. Can you identify this power, which bold. is this power? Bold, dominant, or dominant, dominant. yes, or dominant. eagle, right? Yes. Eagle personality or power seeker, one who is a power seeker. Now here, one who is prey seeker, influential, influential, influential. exactly, Impressive. yes, one who is like a peacock, and peace. Peace is uh, steady. 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 One who is like a dove. And dove. process is like the person who is compliant. like an owl or a compliant, compliant person. So you are pro at it now. Yes, Alhamdulillah. <laughs> yes, mashallah. So I can become a good teacher. I hope I'm not, I, I can't find any failure here. Okay, that will be a nightmare now for me. <laughs> okay. Yes. So all of you understood this. Now we want to know in detail. I will be sharing two personalities here, about two personalities today and to, about two tomorrow. Why I'm doing this? Because I want to have a detailed discussion about your traits and about, about these traits. And you have to identify at least three or four students in each class who come under each category. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. yes, this is what we want. Okay, now I want all of you to answer. Almost 30 are there and all of you should answer now. At least those are not, you might, you might not be teaching right now. But even if you know about your children's personality, you should try to analyze it right away. Okay. Okay, now we will be talking in detail about the four P's. These Power seeker in the beginning, if I have to talk about. Power seeker, you might have seen that they are very dominant. They want all that what they have told. 
what they want maybe the the husband if you if you think about if, if you have a husband who's a dominant seeker power seeker what they say i want you to go to the shop and get the cup of uh, you know the uh, what uh, uh, maybe a sugar or tea powder or whatever i want that to be given right away come and bring that so the child says please papa i'll do it after this game fun game please but what will the father say he wants then and there to happen and he goes and says no right away stop all that go get it done yes they are very very dominant they see to it that anything happens by hook or crook whatever they say it should happen you have observed such people they are blunt they don't care about others they don't care about family they don't care about emotions and feelings how I many of you have observed such people can you relate anybody in your family yes, or in your circle or any any student belongs to this category maybe your your some your some of them you know you might have come across where children at at school they are very quiet but parents say that they are very dominant at home right now what is this they are they have their own self image self confidence is very high self image is also high they have lot of confidence mashallah nephew grandfather great you are able to associate people now they are not doing it purposely let me make it very clear this is not pre planned this is not purposely done it's a nature so it is their nature it's their fitra what do you call it okay by default it happens it's not their fault now don't consider that this particular person is like a devil no there are people if you treat them well they are able to be have we can have good relationship with them as well okay the only thing that matters is we should know how to behave now you can't tell okay my child is like this ma'am i will see to it that i will be double dominant can that happen what will happen if two eagles are there at in in a in a single classroom what will happen if two eagles are there in the classroom fight for dominance the follower also is the same yes the leader and the follower both are having dominant features can you imagine what is going to happen there in the classroom i may if you are able to make sense exactly you will have consensus problem nobody one person will not be listening to another yes quarreling fighting some basic misunderstandings will happen and what are these traits i'll tell you they are very impatient they are impulsive they don't want to wait they are fast paced they want quick decisions everything to be very quick they are assertive what do you mean by assertiveness what is assertiveness they they don't want to to uh, i would say deviate from their position whatever they think whatever they feel they will put forth it for example imagine there are four friends okay and one is a dominant in that one amongst them is a dominant person and they want to go for a a restaurant imagine they they are planning to go to a restaurant and there sabina elias just mute please okay so what do they do this particular person whatever happens he by hook or crook he will make sure that his favorite hotel or favorite restaurant is chosen by other three of them got it he will make sure that they all will be going to the same restaurant what he wants 
got it and there also even after going there he will make sure that only that food will be ordered which he is willing to eat this is the difference i hope it makes sense very impatient they seek control they are goal oriented can you see how eagle comes how eagle comes they are goal oriented they can't see anything else only one thing their goal and you give you give them nice goals they are able to reach to their potential no problem and they are able to take risk very very important they take risk they are ready to take risk they are very confident is there anything wrong about it no they are highly responsive they take initiatives they take leaderships if you see in the classroom have you all seen such students if you are not there some come and mind the class Hey, don't talk. Yeah, ma'am told not to talk. Sit. Although you have not given them any power, they come and take the initiative and say, yes, I'm there. Why should you talk? If ma'am is not there, I will be there. So what? You sit. You don't talk. They start taking the initiative in the absence of a teacher. Got it? This is the difference. So I hope it makes sense. Power seeker. Now how do you deal with these people? This is important. There are three types of, again, power seekers. Dominance has three kinds. Forceful dominance. As I told you, the first person is forceful dominance who keeps on trying to make sure that his, whatever happens, he is not bothered about feelings. He is not bothered about emotions. He is not bothered about any, any of his relationship. He is only bothered about his thoughts. That's it. There are again some, some people who are mild dominant. Who, who will be doing all the things what they want. But all through maskas. All kind of maskafying. All kind of you know polishing people. Very mildly, softly. See, they'll try to convince you. See, I'll tell you why. Why I'm doing this. Somehow, this is the reason. So, in that way, what happens? People try to show their dominance. But in a, in a mild manner. They don't want to sound dominant. They don't want to act dominant. They just make sure that this behavior is not exhibited in that way but somehow what they want it should be executed got it whatever they want that will be executed i hope it makes sense you're able to understand okay next comes a foul dominance so foul dominance they are not actually dominant at all they only take the responsibilities they say ma'am i want to become the leader They'll tell, I want to become the leader, but they never go in front of people and take the initiative and become the leader. They are not able to do it. So they are not at all actually dominant, but they pretend to be dominant. Got it? If you have seen some, some uh, men, what happens is they try to, they try to be loud with family members but as a father or as a husband they don't seem to be very responsive got it <laughs> when things happen where they initiate that they have to take the initiative they don't take so it is foul dominance they don't they don't know how to take how to become dominant Now, what are the do's here? What should you do? The first thing that people, you have to understand is only when you give respect, they will respect. Otherwise, they'll not respect you. These children who are dominant, if you don't respect them, they'll not respect you. But if you start respecting, they will give you a lot of respect. Even after, after they reach their 10th standard also, they'll come back to you. That respect will be there. 
they are not very you know hard hearted people try to understand this talk about the results the goals the, ori the you know you have to make them goal oriented try to think about unique goals and they don't want to you know uh, talk over the bush they just want to be very very short in their speech to the point they talk and they come out they don't want to talk much they are not they are not like influential they don't want to talk about all these uh, unnecessary things whatever is there they'll come talk and go usually when whenever the person in the spouse you know when the husband is dominant and or even compliant sometimes compliant also they speak less and uh, you know either if it is a dominant or he is a compliant person and the husband the wife is a influential there always most of the time there will be conflicts the wife has to talk 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 and she expects her husband also to talk husband says why should i talk i don't need it there's no point talking there i keep my mouth shut most of the time why he doesn't get any sense there to talk doesn't feel like talking and that's obvious yeah it's all right if he doesn't talk it's all right but we need to translate this and give them this is what is happening most of the time try to understand this if you have to, your spouse belong to this category make sure that you give them respect and talk to them to the point sometimes they ask you now don't tell that ramayan tell me what is there what you want come on right observed yes this is happening yes it is realistic now what are the blind spots i would say the weaknesses okay the weaknesses the first thing is they these people you know they weigh the pros and cons they have a micro view of everything for example they say mama did you see that person how he was looking at you the way his smile was that was not good the way he was frowning that's not the way he has to treat you how disrespectful that was and most of the time when we are not observing they feel all these minor things also to be very very in, you know significant got it this is the blind spots so try to understand that they are they want to what do you want very nice we can do something later so what they want is attention you see this small small things they come and tell you and they don't want to have any kind of research done they depend on research facts whenever you tell them these kind of people imagine they are very stubborn they are very uh, rude and they are to the point you understand that this person is um, belonging to dominant person or personality understand that for them logic thinking will work facts and figures will work statistics will work talk to them with figures you know what if you tell them see uh, don't use too much of mobile it is not good for your health they'll say who said who asked you did i ask you keep your mouth shut they'll say that and go but as a teacher if you tell them the logics if you tell them the statistics see so much of percentage children are suffering from this because they are watching too much of mobile mental harassment is done because of this these things are the facts about cyber crime if you talk to them in research after your after your thorough research you are telling them certain facts that will enter their brain very easily i hope i'm making sense you are able to understand this yes i can see only two of them 3 4 5 yes 6 okay mashallah great see okay but if you tell them you go and research they'll not do it i told you because they are impatient they are impulsive they don't know all these things they can't think for longer time recognize the need of others they don't know they can't recognize the needs they can't recognize others 
emotions, feelings, what they want, all that, unless you train them, give them more values through stories, give them more values through experiences. Now imagine if you are in that situation, what would have happened? Imagine that and just feel for that particular person the way you spoke just now. Imagine if you were in that situation. How would you feel about it? Start talking to them in, in these ways so that you know they can emotionally connect with each other. Hope it makes sense. Okay? And then what are the goals that you need to give them? For them, goals are very important. As I told you, an eagle, keep in the mind, eagle, unique achievements. They want unique achievement, unique goals and unique opportunities. What others are doing, they are not bothered about it. I have one eagle at home right now, which I am also facing. And there was an issue yesterday that happened at home. Being dominant, it's very hard for a parent also to handle the situation. I mean, you need a lot of patience, a lot of patience. Yesterday, even I lost my patience. I'll tell you very frankly, it has happened. And it happens. It happens almost 80, 85% we will be all, all right. But sometimes things go beyond the control. Okay. And it when, when it's out of reach, it, it totally, you know, we get embarrassed. Why this person is doing this? It's not easy. They want controlling the audience. So you have to give them. You give them audience. You ask them to train four or five people, give them some uh, task to teach people something. You no, know, these things. They are very confident in doing any task that they want, but something different. They are not willing to do all that which others are doing. And they want to be independent. Anytime you go and tell them, hey, why are you doing this? What are, What is this? Lot of suggestions, lot of advices. They don't want Please make sure that you don't give them advices. No suggestions. It is like making them experience things. This is important. Okay. Let them experience and understand. They will be trying to make sure that they correct themselves. We will be only becoming the mentor, not an advisor. We will not be playing the role of an advisor then. Okay. All of you, this is what we have to talk about. One particular dominant personality. Any doubt in this? Anything? Anything that you want to ask? How many of you can think of any three children? Irrespective of classes. I mean, any, any age group, no problem. But can you think of any three children or four children who come into this category? Come on. Write down their names. It's a long topic, Ashwia, which I usually do it with my parenting uh, you know, team where I have my paid members. I have one hour session, difference between mentor and monitor. Okay, you need not write here, but but be there. It's it's good that you have observed people. Yes. Rayan, my dad, Bilal, Ifa, Fatima, Linsha. Great. And there's nothing wrong about it. Let me make it very clear. As teachers, make sure that personalities are not wrong. There's nothing called right personality and wrong personality. Almighty has created it. Oh, mashallah, Ashfiya. <laughs> okay, great. There's nothing right and wrong personality. All are Almighty's creations. Understand that. Okay, that's what. Shall we proceed? Shall we proceed? Okay, Gauz, Vikhar and uh, Reshma, have you observed? Taslima. Yes. yes. Reshma AR. Nice to know this. 
Okay, now how, how many of you felt there was some bulb on moment? How many of you felt that yes, this is something that new I have learned, or you felt that this is a waste of time? Or I knew this earlier only, ma'am. What is this? How many of you had learned about this? I'm sure you have learned all this in your beard or your Montessori, but that was all. Um, I, I I came to know that these things were all learned there also, but not in these perspectives. Okay, tuition students are there. Great. My nephew. Tuition students, yes. Okay, so dominant you are able to understand. Okay, shall we proceed with the next one? Are you enjoying? Feeling sleepy, bored, or slept while fasting? Okay. Okay. Okay, you can send the session to link to somebody else also in case others also want to join. Inshallah. Okay, so let us proceed. Okay, we have Azan going on. I'll just wait for a few minutes. Yeah, so we are back now. Uh, so we have to talk about the second personality right now. That is a praise seeker. These praise seekers, have you all seen some of your colleagues here where they come and tell the principal, ma'am, it's because of me. I... I made this, ma'am. She did that work because I told her to do. I'm talking as a principal. I know there are, I know there are teachers who do all this. Okay, so I have come across such personalities as well. Although, although I didn't know much about that then, but now I have, isn't it? So, Alhamdulillah, I'm able to. Talk to people about this right now. That's what I said. Whatever I didn't know then, Alhamdulillah, I'm able to achieve it now. It's because there are some people who want to show that I have done something better than others. Although the work may be not very significant, but they want to show people that, yes, I have done comparatively a better work than rest of things. Right? Have you all seen your children in the classroom saying that, uh, ma'am, I, I brought this, uh, you know, I did this particular project because you told me to do, you know, in that way? Why? They are seeking your praise, your attention. Yes. I will talk to this. I'll talk about this manners. I'll talk about it. Yeah. So this is what we have. Children, they have different traits, mashallah. So this is nothing but influential trait, what they do. And just make sure that you be here just for half an hour. I will be completing this in half an hour, okay? By half an hour, we are there. So please don't leave this particular thing, okay, session. Because this will be bringing a lot of changes in your teaching career as well. How many of you believe that, yes, I can do some things here? I can bring some changes here after knowing yes. this. Inshallah. Yes. So thank the person who has sent you this link. Whoever. Yeah. Whoever has, uh, you know, sent you the link to join, just thank them. Inshallah. Okay. So we will be talking about the praise seekers now. So this is all about praise seekers. They want to be the center of attraction. You know, they want to become the people whom others will be praising them. They are very happy for it. When people are praising them, they, they are very happy. You know? They are blown off. They feel sometimes. They are optimistic. At the same time, they work hard. Okay, They are assertive, but not taking very much responsibilities. All, all those responsibilities, they are not much. But they take care of family, health issues, whatever. They, they, they see to it that they don't take much risk. And they don't want, uh, you know, um, any conflict to happen. Have you all seen some uh, class leaders, for example, they come and tell slowly, hey, don't talk, okay. 
I'll write your name on the board. Now I'm told to write. Don't talk. How many times to tell? Seen such people? Have you all seen? Yes. Why? They don't want to write their friend's name. They lose their friends. I'm giving you genuine classroom incidents so that you, you are able to resonate better. I hope it makes sense. Okay. So this is what you all have to understand. So initially, make sure that these children are influential personalities. They need your attention. They need your praises, appraisals. So make sure that you praise them for their task, what they are doing. They are also fast paced. They'll come, ma'am, ma'am, ma I'll do it, ma'am. Okay, no problem. Anybody here who wants to do this particular work? Yes, ma'am, I'll do it, I'll do it. Because they don't want you to be sad. They're very social. They talk. They talk too much. They try to express. They're very expressive. But what do we do? How many questions will you ask? Just keep your mouth shut. How many times will you talk? Enough. Stop it. As teachers, did, it, did this. How many of us have done this? Come on. Be very frank. It's all right. I was the one who did this. I remember our school days. Yes. I'm telling from my memories only. <laughs> Sadika. <laughs> okay. Yes. So, I hope... Yes, even in some cases, we also have that. Yes, we we usually try to be very dramatic at that time, you know. We, we be showy, we try to show people that, yes, I am. Okay, I'll do it, I'll do it. And they say, they, they try to make sure that the work is done also. They'll do it. Okay, they are assertive. And at the same time, they'll do it because they don't want you to be in that pressure that, okay, you know, when ma'am ma says that you have not done, then I'll feel very bad. Okay, they are, they are good at, um, even, you know, they are enthusiastic. They take risk, but not responsibilities. If you tell them you become the leader, they are little hesitant. They'll say, yes, ma'am, I'll become the leader. But slowly they'll go and tell, see, I am the leader, okay. I'm telling you, don't go and talk so much when I'm minding. I can't say, I can't write your name on the board. No, you understand that. Hmm. Okay, Aisha Sahar. Great. You are able to identify these people. Make sure, again, you have a, at least two, three or more children in that category who belongs to this category. Now, how do you be with these people? They are milder people. Okay, they are mild. So, you have to praise the work what they are doing. Okay, praise the work that they are doing, not the not praising the child. Very intelligent, very good, you're, you're wonderful. No. Mashallah, this work what you did, I loved it. Great. You have that nice potential to do this work. You can become a great artist one day. Mashallah, this is very pretty. What you have done, this work is indeed, you know, I have to put this on the notice board there. Mashallah, this work you have done very nicely. When you tell that, they are very friendly. They feel like expressing more and they'll talk more. Let them talk. We have already discussed one who talks more, one who is very expressive, it is because of the linguistic skills. And that linguistic intelligence, if, they, if he has, he can become a great personality one day. Try to understand this. This is one of the life skills that people are trying to burn money and earn this. How I many of you agree? We are learning communication skills by burning lakhs of rupees. I recently came across a course which is a communication course, which is 1.2 lakhs. So these skills, you have to build them up. Try to make sure that you give them that particular task to express. Let them express. Now tell me, how did you feel while doing this particular work? You ask them, how did you feel after doing this? What, what did you feel? Come on, tell me. Now the child is able to express and he feels that my teacher cares for me. 
Got it? And automatically he will build that respect with that teacher, with that mother or whoever, that mentor. Yes? Never ignore this person. Now, for example, my child came to me. She is also an influential personality. She comes to me and she, whenever I am in the session, these days it is more. She comes with her art, anything, anything, maybe in that, maybe in the pad or she does something with the handcraft or something. She came, just now she came here also showing me something. And if I don't appreciate, nothing is going to harm. Even if I say, yes, within two seconds, I tell Masha, very nice. And then I come back to you. Does it, does it actually create any impact for the audience? Did it hurt you when I said that to my child? No, it didn't. It did, you didn't even might have observed it. But that, at that point of time, if I don't observe, if I ignore the impact that she has in her thought process, this creates a long-term effect. Make sure about this. Try to admire their work. Try to admire their work. And that fear of loss shouldn't be there in children. Make sure that that influence, that building of influence should be there. You, 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 you can make, you can tell them, see, uh, you form a group and then make this particular event. Now what happens? He becomes the influential person. The fear of influence or the fear of loss of influence will not be there. Okay, make sure that these are to be catered. They are influential all the time. Let them be. Let them be. You can't change their personality. Now, sh action should be focused on the action rather than presenting or explaining. Now, what happens is they are only talking, talking, talking. They will not be doing more actions. They are good at talking. They are good at influencing. Okay. But actions are not actually very good. You might have seen with your colleagues who go and boast themselves with principals, with the, you know, the management members and all these people. You might have seen. Actually, you might have done a better work than them, but you are not very expressive. So you don't feel like telling it. The work has to be focused here. Give them more focus. How to work on these things. Give them some other uh, ideas. Give them more choices to do. Got it? And these people have le very less listening ability. They don't listen much because they talk. And their entire time will be spent on talking. Agree? They do this. Now, time management should be taught to them. Listening skills to be incorporated. You have to make sure that they incorporate listening skills. So, make sure that they can story. Can you see me now? Yeah. So, time management skills are to be taught to them and listening skills. This has to be taught because they will not have it. We have to make sure that these things are taught to them. Next comes the goals. So what kind of goals? They want, they want to have fair goals, you know. Their, their victory should be fair all the time. You can't say, um, uh, you know, like for example, you are having any, any game. And you should try to make sure that the person is influencing rest of them in any game. This person will be leading. This person, it's not that all the time he will be the winner. But even if he loses, make sure that his, his self-image is not low. Okay. And friendship happiness is something that he is actually willing to have. More friends means it is great achievement for them. Okay, for them, their talk, their influence, being a leader is something, you know, a great status for them. But in what ways? Make sure that they will be getting the chances and express 
the things. Work also has to be done equally. They need more popularity. Give them popularity. Let them be in front of four or five classrooms. Let them talk. It's all right. Give them that chance. That's how you need to work on. Okay. So this is all about today's session. We have, by this, we will be completing this particular session for now. We will be meeting tomorrow, inshallah. Okay. The same thing. If you have yeah. anything to ask, I am free for another 10 minutes. We can have a we can have some Q and A's, and if you can ask anything about this, we can we can talk for a while. How many of you are ready to give me some reviews on Google? I'll be sending the link in the group. I'll be sending the link in the group. Okay, Google reviews. How many? Okay, Jazakallah khair. Just a moment, I'll be sharing this in the group. Yeah, how many are not there in the group here? Those who are not there in the group. What is that? There are not yes so how was the session tell me about this anybody who would like to talk about the session today when these both personalities are siblings how do we manage the situation yes siblings also it matters because you will have to see what kind of personality? Now, both are, which personality you mean to say here, Rifa? Siblings, they, which personality they belong to? Can you unmute? Or you want to type? Which personality they belong to? Okay, when, when you have a power seeker and a praise seeker, Siblings are there. Two different personalities. That is how you have to understand that a dominant should always be respected. And the praise seeker should always be praised. Okay. Each one should understand mutually what you should do. Respect yeah. each person's views automatically the child feels it. See, I understand what you what you mean to say here. It's very good. I, I respect this thought of yours. Mm -hmm. Wonderful that you are thinking about this. When you start telling like that, the child feels, ah, yes, my mother or my teacher is trying to understand me. Then you go and tell your expression. You express yours. Yes, Nevu, he only focuses what he wants. Yes. And if it's a small child, you can't understand now the, the, the differences, okay? If he is almost around four, three, four years, you'll be able to identify the traits very easily. Unless the child is three to four years, you'll not be able to easily understand the traits. Got it? Yeah. Thank you. The and the student, both are dominant, as we said. Both should respect each other. And especially, I'll tell you, we can't expect children to change. Okay. Children cannot change because they are, they are uh, what do you call it? The prefrontal brain is not developed. It's not yet uh, developed. Okay, it's not grown up. But as it is grown up, we know how to manage our emotions. We know how to, how to what has to be dealt with, in what ways we can deal, all these things, right? So, we are more competent to bring those changes. Got it? Okay. Anything else you want to ask? Anything else you want to ask? 
Anybody who would like to tell me is what? Is there any chance that uh, both would be? Any chance? Is there any chance if both uh, one person have these both qualities in them? I will be talking to like, about this tomorrow. They are, uh, dominant uh, as well and they want to yes. us. There will be combination. I'll be talking about this tomorrow, inshallah. Okay? There will be. Nice question, Ashura. Anything else? Anyone would like to express how you felt joining the session and how it is going to impact your teaching career? Wow. So we were here for almost one hour, one, one, one and a half hours almost. And one word, great. That was great. That was nice. Is it so? Okay, one more word. Wonderful, Alhamdulillah. Yes, all one, one word. Anybody would like to unmute and tell me how you felt? Excuse me, ma'am. You want to say, Rashma, one minute, one minute. I'll just add. Pen. Yeah, tell me. Now, earlier, when you used to say, was so nice. we used to tell, oh, she's very bossy, she's like this, she's like that. Now we can, uh, we can, and we understood what is their personality. You know? We can now group them, uh, which, to which personality they belong. So we used to say, oh, she's very bossy. Look at the way she's behaving. We used to just be, just talk about them, but uh, this thing we learned just now. This is there. That is one part of a personality. This is, I came to know just now, ma'am. After I attended this, oh, you you might have learned about this in the beard also. No, I have not done beard, ma'am. I did not. Okay, Montessori. Okay, in your Montessori also, it might have you might have come across this concept. Yeah, but not as deep as this. This okay. way concept. Okay, mashallah. Alhamdulillah, at least you are able to connect. You are able to get something out of this. Mashallah, that's that's wonderful. Thank you, Reshma. Anybody else? <coughs> yes, alhamdulillah, it was a good session. In fact, trying to solve some issues with students related to personality. Yes, okay, great. Yes, Ghaus, Vikar, you want to say something? You can tell in Hindi also, Urdu also, anything. No matter, no problem. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. May I know who is this? One minute. I'm Jasmine. Okay, one sec. I will be putting you to the. Yani? Yeah, one minute. I'm just searching your name here. Jasmine. I can't find your name here. Yeah, yeah, you are here. Fatimat Jasmine. Yes. Yes. Tell me. Ma'am, it was, it was a very nice class. And I already said I'm an online madrasa teacher. Uh, I think if you are including uh, what I... You are on mute. You are on mute. Can you unmute now? I have given you yeah. the request. Yes. Uh, online classes and offline classes, what are different? You know that. Uh, how we can uh, improve our skills in online classes rather than online uh, offline classes? I want to know about that. There are limitations in online classes. You're not able to do things the way you want to. As I said, the higher chances are having makeup. 
in the online sessions. Children will not show their true traits. They'll not be able to. Online madrasa. Okay, because offline is something that where, where people are socializing and, you know, meeting each other and there you try to, uh, the exchange of thoughts and exchange of uh, these, um, uh, you know, emotions take place when, I mean, in a better way in the offline sessions. Okay, but uh, nevertheless, you can't underestimate this as well, you are still able to, I'm, I'm, I've been doing, con conducting workshops also, counseling also, online. Okay, but I'm able to assess what the person is doing now, what he is feeling right now, all that, his body language, I'm able to assess. Okay, so don't underestimate it. You can make a clear, you can, you need to observe be very observant and, and see to it that uh, you are very closely observing students, the patterns, what they have. For example, the child, how long can the child sit for a longer time? It's whether he is fidgety, whether he wants to run away, whether he is forcefully sitting here, all these things, there must be some patterns and that you'll have to study. Okay. You need a little deeper insights about online sessions when you conduct, especially when you are on the camera how to do it, you know, you can't now, right now what I'm doing is I'm, I'm looking at you. So my eye contact is not with you. If I'm looking at, into the camera and I'm talking, then you feel like, yes, I'm talking to you, right? That's how. So when whenever you take any session, make sure that you are looking into the camera rather than this one. Yes, that is there. But when you're, when you want to observe people, you have to see their faces right? How they feel, what they are doing, all that things. So that um, eye contact is not much uh, applicable here in the online classes, you know? So, I mean, such things, such limitations are there. Okay? That is there. But overall, how was the session? How did you feel? You are on mute. It was very nice, ma'am. How is it helpful? I think uh, in online classes also, the uh, behavior of the students are very mm -hmm. So I, I think... I, uh, now I understood more about the behaviors of the students. Inshallah, in next class, so, uh, class also, I will get the same thing. You might not be observing all these things, but to start observing the traits, you'll be easily able to understand this. Okay? Inshallah. You can differentiate, Inshallah. Okay. So anybody else? So with this, let us wind up the session. I want all of you to write your uh, reviews on Google and also on my WhatsApp group, like our teachers group we have on WhatsApp. Just make sure that you share your reviews there also because let others join at least tomorrow, right? Okay, Alhamdulillah, session was great. Currently, it helped me to deal with my kids and Alhamdulillah, hoping to learn more from you. Glad to be here. Jazakallah khair ka tera. Ayya ki. Yes, Alhamdulillah, it was a good session. In fact, trying to solve some issues with students related to personality. Okay. So with this, we would like to wind up the session. Thank you everyone for joining this session. I, I really appreciate because fasting, it's not easy. Right? To be here. I know you are busy moms, busy teachers. All great intellectuals. But Alhamdulillah, I got yeah. people. MashaAllah. Great. Nice talking to you. See you tomorrow. Inshallah. Don't miss. Okay. Jazakallah khair for joining. Asalaamu Alaikum. Uh, Gauz Vikhar, from where are you? Where have you joined from? Unmute, please. Gulbarga. Great. Great. Okay, Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum.